What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy, Asmin Golden. Today, we're going to be talking about store mounts. Recently, the PTR has been updated to patch 6.2.2, which is the patch that's adding flying into the game, along with a few other things. Now, they're also adding five new mounts into the game, and now this video isn't just me talking to you guys. It's also a guide, because I'm going to show you guys how to actually tell if a mount is going to make it into the store, or if it's going to actually make it into the game. Now, if a mount is completely unique, and there's nothing, no, no other mounts that are similar to it in the game, it's not just an obvious reskin or a recolor, bore but it's actually something that you see it and you're like wow that's something that I would actually want to work towards and actually try and earn it in the game you can't because those are going in the store the reskins and the recolors those are the ones that are actually rewards in the game now the five mounts that are being added uh, there's a mount that's now being added for 300 mounts so for collecting 300 mounts 300 mounts you get a blue cloud serpent okay so that's just the same like you know how you have a red one and you've got a yellow one and i think there's a black one too but probably no one has that one you know yeah now there's a blue one that probably no one's going to have either and so for collecting 300 mounts you don't even get a new mount you just get a new color okay and also there's a new uh there's a, the challengers yeti you guys know that one it's like the big yeti it's basically a gromling it's reskin gromling uh well they're they're just changing it's making it a little bit darker and uh, it's now a yeti uh, for the um, was it the Winter Veil achievement and the last mount that you can actually earn in the game is some sort of a skeleton that's also a reskin of uh, something that was added I think in Mists of Pandaria but the two new mounts the two new mounts in the game that you've never seen before that look completely unique yeah you got to pay money for those so the first one you uh, you see here is the uh, the fell it's like a um, it's like one of those little fell fiends, or not fell fiends, fell dogs. It's uh, in like the uh, the Kill Jaden. You guys see it on the screen there. It looks really, really cool. There's nothing else like that in the entire game. And the reason for that is to make that one unique enough to where people will actually buy the collector's edition of the new expansion Legion, because that's the only way you're going to get it. And the best one here, now I forgot its fucking name, but we're just going to call it the Magic Moose, okay? It's this really, really cool Druidic Moose, and it's got like this, it's got a horn on its side. It's got little things on its antlers. It looks fucking great. And the first thing I thought is like, wow, I, well, the first thing I thought is I bet that's a fucking storm mount and I moused over it and it said storm mount. And so it, just to put it into perspective, so the main thing that a lot of people were excited about whenever they saw the Legion uh, preview, a lot of people were talking about this, that maybe we might actually get a moose mount. Well, you are, you're going to get a moose mount, except for you've got to pay $25 for it. Now, honestly, guys, this has really bothered me ever since uh, they introduced the Celestial Steed. But now, uh, you know, as we see in Wards of Drainer, there's just reskins after reskins skins recolors after recolors and the only new and like kind of unique mounts that really break the mold are ones and, and even like think about the boars okay think about the boars in the game and uh, we're not even going to talk about how many times it was recolored we'll talk about that at the end of the video um just the boars like the, the, their little legs are moving so fast for like half the expansion it's like they were it's like they, they put sonic the fucking hedgehog to shame they were moving so fast and people hated that now personally i actually kind of liked it because it made me feel like they are really working for me you know like i, I really felt like these boars was trying his little fucking heart out but most people thought it was stupid and honestly it really was and so it took them like six months to change the animation on a mount that you have basically it's like 12 or something 12 different boards in the entire game and that's like pretty much the only thing that you can get in wards of draenor and um you get the cleft hoof you get the wolves you get the boar you get the towel book you get i think there's like i think there's like uh, a few different other mounts and we'll, as i said we'll talk about that later on but then if you want to actually get the mounts that are uh, unique that you haven't seen before in the game those mounts you actually have to pay for them and uh, honestly uh, what I really like to do is take a look at the recent store mounts that have been added and of course I think everybody's favorite is the mystic rune saber now aside from the mystic rune saber having the wings and uh, you know the whole flying debacle I'd like to really uh, divert your attention over to the like dislike bar of the uh, mystic rune saber and as you guys can see it's very very bad it's actually so bad that the like dislike ratio for the mystic rune saber is worse than the like dislike ratio for Friday by Rebecca Black it is literally like that and so that's that's what the community feels about this now if you go back and you say well all of the storm mounts were badly received that's actually not true if you go back they might have been badly received by me but for a lot of other people they told me to shut the fuck up but now more people are realizing more people are realizing that all of these times that they could have added this mount into the game they're selling out their subscribers for an extra buck and i understand that it's a company but i would rather not feel like i'm being exploited which is exactly how i feel right now and apparently how a lot of other people feel too it's really really 
upsetting and it really bothers me. It pisses me the fuck off. And I, I've wanted to make a video. I've talked about this before. I talked about this like two years ago whenever I first made this channel. Nobody really cared. I talked about it again. Nobody really cared. Hopefully people will care now and actually say something about it. Because honestly, I was reading a thread on Reddit and someone was talking about, is this going to happen in Legion? And I said, why the fuck not? Why would they not do this? They're literally printing money by doing this. All they have to do is not release a mount in the game, the best mounts in the game, and then sell them on the store and they make even more money it's just it's common sense really for them and before that i think that another one uh the mount before the uh, the Mystic Rune Saber was the Grinning Reaver. Now, a video you guys might remember. I told you guys I would stab a fork in my arm if the Grinning Reaver was a um, was a storm mount. But apparently, I think YouTube has a self harm policy, so we're not going to do that. But um, trust me, I was mad enough to do it. I was really really upset because I saw this mount and I could see that it was actually being advertised. Most mounts are not advertised. Any mount that actually is advertised, you can tell pretty much automatically that it's a storm mount. And that's uh, before like now, you can tell just by looking at is it unique is it new okay it's a storm out right but back then uh, you know it wasn't really quite sure and you know there were a lot of new things being added in the world i was really really hoping that it wasn't a storm out but it was and it's actually the only ravager that's in the game and the funny thing about the grinning reaver is the uh, the skulls and the, like the adornments that it has on it are nearly not nearly they are identical to the laughing skull reputation items and uh, different things that are in that reputation for the horde now so what they really did is they took so if you get exalted the laughing skull reputation <laughs> You don't get the Grinning Reaver. You don't even get the Frowning Reaver, okay? You don't get a fuck. You don't get any Reaver, okay? What do you get? You get a fucking wolf. You get a... No, you don't get a wolf. You get another wolf, okay? And so instead of actually giving people something to work towards, something of unique, cool reward, again, it's $25. And so, uh, you know, I guess, like, the, the question, like, a lot of people said, well, okay, they added the reputations and wards of general late on, and, you know, they had already added the Grinning Reaver into the game. So why didn't they add some sort of reskin or recolor of the Grinning Reaver, uh, you know, into the game as a reward for Laughing Skull Reputation? Well, it's obvious. It's obvious why I would... If you have something that is unique that is uh you know it, it it stands out you know and everybody else like sees it you know and it's like oh wow you know it attracts attention and it is unique that increases its value and if they add something else like the uh, the brown reaver or something like that that looks the exact same uh that's going to decrease the uh, comparative value of the grinning reaver and less people will buy it because they can earn it in the game equally now guys uh it, it, this is just really simple economics, and, and I'm going to say something here that might sound ridiculous, but trust me, it is not. Um, the Adding these uh, these storm mounts into the game, these flashy and like really, really cool storm mounts into the game, not only uh, discourages you know them from adding them into the game, but actually discourages from adding new flashy mounts into the game. And so uh, why do we always have all these like shitty boars and like a, a dozen different, uh, you know, recolors of boars, half a dozen... Uh, wolves and everything like that and actually is an incentive it incentivizes there's a monetary incentive for them to not create content not create rewarding compelling content that is equal to the storm mounts in the game because it will decrease the comparative value of those storm mounts now imagine like you're in storm shield okay and everybody around you has the same basically the same board that you do but the one person who stands out is the guy who's got the mystic uh the mystic rune saber or something like that and just the fact that you are unique, everybody else around you is writing basically the same thing, but you look cooler than they do, or at least like if, if you want to say it like that, everybody else is writing a different color of boar, and you're the only person that has this unique, and there's nothing else like it, like the Grinning Reaver. That obviously increases the value of that Grinning Reaver comparatively, and then if everybody else has some other really, really cool mount, like the... Um, mystic rune saber or something like that that they could earn in the game but the fact that there are no other really cool mounts like that to earn in the game in wards of draenor increases the value of the uh, of the storm mounts because they are more unique and they are they do stand out more and guys i mean like as i said like the uh, whenever the storm mounts they start coming out this was in like 2008 2009 something like that i don't even remember I think it was actually 2009, 2010. Uh, I really, I, I threw a fucking fit. Okay, I threw a, I threw a fit, and everybody called me a retard, and you know they were just very mean to me, and they said I was completely wrong. And at least then, at least then, the mounts did not actually actively remove expansion, current expansion themed content from the game during that expansion. And uh, you know, the two examples I want to use for that is the uh, the Fey Dragon and also the Iron uh, Sky Reaver, whatever the fuck it's whatever its name is. Um. 
it's like the uh, the flying thing, the flying Rylak, okay, that, that was added in Siege of Orgrimmar, and uh, the uh, Fey Dragon that was added around the same time. Now, if you go over to Ambari Village, you can see a bunch of different Fey Dragons all over the place. Even if you uh, if you take a flight path from somewhere in Shadowmoon Valley to somewhere else, you ride a Fey Dragon. It's like your taxi service, but if you actually want to ride a Fey Dragon and it's not a taxi service in Shadowmoon Valley, you've got to fucking pay $25 because there's only one Fey Dragon in the entire game, and the only way you can get it is by paying money and so there's no other way except for it's you know completely paywalled you know to get this mount that you see all over the place and you know is this an accident of course not you know are they advertising semi like kind of subliminally advertising you know the fey dragons by having them everywhere and oh here here you're riding on one and you know do you want to do this in the game and you can pay 25 dollars for it are they doing that i don't know i mean i'm not like a psychic but i i wouldn't really put it past them another example of course is the rylac now the rylac uh was actually added there's a soaring sky terror that was added later on in the game in 6.2 and i think that was Add more of like an apology to players because of how long uh, you know flying took and people were so mad about flying and it was obvious that it was you know really kind of uh, you know hastily done and it was obvious because you know whenever you actually rode on the scoring sky terror it had the same engine noises that the uh, iron uh, sky reaver did but the soaring sky terror doesn't have any engines on it and so uh, you know like it, it's just it's sort of, you know, I just I just remembered I, I remember I looked down and I don't know why um, I saw a piece of shit on the floor and it reminded me of the Warforged Nightmare. Okay, and the Warforged Nightmare is the stupid horse. And I'm like, it was literally, it was the, the stupidest, uh, like, I guess like mount animation, mount run that I've ever seen in the game. And not only that, see, it came with a hitching post. And this hitching post, um, if you clicked on the hitching post, so if you click, it's not like gone. But if you clicked on it, um, it would turn your mount into a Warforged Nightmare. And so it was a bonus. And of course, for that bonus, you didn't get that for free. No, the Warforged Nightmare was $30. And so you got to pay that five extra dollars just to get that hitching post. And uh, it's just... I feel like I'm taking crazy pills because I could never even imagine this happening in the game that, you know, I grew up playing and just to see like all of these things, like basically, uh, you know, current expansion content, you know, or paying subscribers being sold out and having their money being taken from them because they're paying for the game, you know, and they're taking their money and then they're developing things and making them pay for it again. It's like double, triple dipping. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, um, you know, really, I, I think that we've seen a lot of a kind of like a paradigm shift in terms of reward structure in the game from going from, uh, you know, just in terms of like uh, like power increases, like just better gear or something like that, and transitioning over to vanity and cosmetic rewards. Uh, we're seeing that a lot with like the artifact system, which is why I already preemptively, uh, you know, was talking about, I really hope they don't sell skins for artifact weapons, and I don't know if they will or not. I hope they don't, but, you know, we'll see with things like this. Uh, why would I be surprised? But um, anyway, so not only, uh, you know, not only that, but they've added a lot of these other cosmetic rewards, you know, sorry, a lot of the things in the game are now vanity rewards. You know, you get the Challenger's Yeti, you get the uh, Transmog weapons and Mr. Pandaria, you got the Transmog armor. It didn't make you do any more damage or do anything like that. It's more vanity weapons and vanity rewards and things like that that don't really actually help you in combat. And so whenever you make these vanity rewards, the vanity rewards that you can buy in the store, uh, if you want to look at it in terms of like uniqueness, quantitatively better and well-designed, more well-designed than the items that are added in the game, and then you wonder why people are quitting the game because they don't feel like it's being rewarded, they're being rewarded, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like, it's obvious. Like, the writing is on the wall or it's on the screen. And it's just... I. Of course people, of course people don't feel like they're rewarded. You know, when the uh, when the best reward, you know, the hardest set of achievements in the game in a Blackrock Foundry rewarded you with another Gronling. Okay, there was already, like, now there's like five Gronlings in the game, and now you've got one more Gronling. And that's that's the big reward for completing all of the achievements in the game. And this happened in Mists of Pandaria. Like, the first tier of Mists of Pandaria, you got that stupid, like, heavenly red uh, Cloud Serpent that really basically looked like just all the other Cloud Serpents, while at the exact same time they were adding storm mounts that look completely unique and nothing like anything else that was added into the game and guys you know what is it any surprise that people are quitting the game whenever they're basically well they're literally being sold out they're taking uh you know they're 
their subscription money and uh, you know basically they're they're developing these mounts and I understand I do want to say I do want to make a concession right now before somebody writes a, a comment saying that you know the mounts pay for themselves the mounts do obviously pay for themselves and I'm I'm fairly certain that they do but it's more or less whenever you have a uh, an element in the game or like some sort of like the paradigm in the game now where all of the rewards, mostly the rewards, are vanity and are cosmetic, and you can buy better vanity and cosmetic rewards, or at least more unique ones. That's a, you know, definitely something that I can say. Uh, better is of course subjective, but personally, I believe that the store mounts are better. Whenever you can do that in the game, and also simultaneously, they're not delivering, you know, that new content into the game. Like all the 6.2 mounts are basically, um, you know. Uh, you know boring you know like literally there's like five new boards added into the game in 6.2 and uh you know like like three new cleft hoofs and i don't even know what else and at the same time they're adding these new store mounts into the game that are unique and you know nobody's ever seen anything like them why do you think that people are mad why do you think that people like are wondering what are they doing you know why am i paying a subscription and like guys i'd really like to end this video i don't want to make it too long i think that i've illustrated my point about how bad I think that these uh, store mounts are for the game. I understand they're a company, but there are more ethical and less ethical ways of generating money. And I would say that this is way, way farther on the less ethical scale. Now, uh, I'd just like to uh, do a couple of things and tell you guys, uh, just to illustrate how ridiculous this is. There are more variations of a boar mount than, they are mod than there are models of mounts that are available in the game in Warlords of Draenor that were added in Warlords of Draenor. Now, if you want to add in, there are 12 variants of boar mounts. Now, honestly, there could be 13. I could have missed one, right? And uh, I counted also 10 variants, uh, and I'll have it on the screen, obviously, um, 10 variants of different mounts in the game, like boars, cleft hoofs, and everything else like that. And 12, if you if you count the other two, uh, the Scoring Sky Terror and um, what was the other one? Uh, the Fell Dread Raven, which was also originally, like both of those were originally cash items. But new original mounts that were added for people that start, first started playing the game, there are 10. There are more variations of boars than there are of mounts in the uh, in the game. And uh, that, or in, in Wars of Draenor, of course, that is just disappointing. And honestly, uh, you know, it's like you, you buy you buy the game. Okay, you go you go to Target, you go to Walmart, right? You, we're not that high class. We we go to Walmart and we buy the game. Okay, we get go home and you know update the game, uh, buy the expansion. So now you're buying the expansion too. And now on top of that, you're also paying a monthly subscription fee that you would think is going towards the uh, the development of the game, but it's actually going forward. You know, you're paying three times for the privilege to pay a fourth time for a mount that you don't even own. You don't own those mounts. And also, you paid to make it. Like, I cannot even imagine. This is... It. It's really upsetting to me, and I understand that some people say, well, they're a company, you know, and everything else like that. Well, where where are these other, where are the cool mounts that, that come from subscribers if, they're, if these mounts are so easy to make and everything like that? Where are the rewards in the game? There are no rewards in the game. The, another boar mount is not a fucking reward. Like, they've had, that was a reward the first week of the expansion, and then people somehow got, were showered with boars, and now boars are no longer rewarding because they already have a bunch of them. I don't know what is going on, and it just seems like they're trying to, to get as much money out of us as possible, and it just it, it feels shitty, and I think that a lot of you guys feel this way, and I, I didn't even really want to make this video, and that's why I, I said I was going to, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, like, I'm just really mad, alright? It's just been really frustrating, and to see, like, another really cool, really new, you know, unique, and something I would really work towards in the game, just... I mean, they're they're selling they're selling out the content in the game for twenty five dollars. Now they could have added something in the game that would make this boar mount, uh, you know, the, sorry, the moose, the magic moose, uh, make the magic moose, uh, you know, like a, a worthy goal for people. But instead, they're just selling it for twenty five dollars. It's just really disappointing to see that happen, especially whenever uh, you know all the other new mounts that are in the game for the people who pay for the game three times um, are are reskins and recolors just sucks um i really hope they don't they, they stop doing this in legion i really hope they stop doing it period but uh, there's nothing that makes me think that they will and that's the worst part i don't know what to say but i well i do i just finished saying it but besides that i really don't know so uh i it's a little bit of a downer but uh that's pretty much all i've got so thanks for watching and like comment subscribe